Hello everybody, this is Moses from Zotar Gardens. Lulu, as you all know, still making sure squirrels aren't going to interrupt the video. I'm going to show you something that really intrigued me. It's pomegranate season right now, so I'm going to make this a, a twofer, the video. So about pomegranates, how it's going, and the tree that I'm going to remove. One of my first videos on YouTube, I'll link it up in the video right now on how to prune a pomegranate bush into a tree uh, long ago when Shantig was a little little kid but underneath all that stuff is the pomegranate over here you see all the pomegranates hanging uh, I think about maybe 80 this year this is the um, Utah sweet or ever sweet variety it's a no-name variety from my great aunt's house we dug it up planted it here and it's a non-staining variety uh, really sweet no acid so I'm gonna use it to juice with this year uh, but underneath all this if you have watched uh, previous videos of mine well really old videos actually I had a lot of purple tree collards here they've always browned like they, they turn like this This is why they call them a, in my opinion why they call them a tree collard not because they could grow up like a tree which they can't uh, here's the delicious uh, collards right here purple tree collard year-round greens but because they grow like they grow bark as you can see you know that's why i think they call it a tree because they cannot grow up that's being staked up and that's just you're asking for uh, problems at that point because it's just going to fall over look at i'm clearing it out i was going to uh, fix the fig tree because it's leaning i pulled one of these uh branches and it cracked and i realized the whole mound of purple tree collards all dead so luckily and these are just getting too old. Luckily, I made some cuttings of these in early spring, late winter. Uh, and now they're fully rooted. I'm going to replant. I don't know if I'm going to replant there. It's so tight. There's not much room. I allowed the pomegranate this. What is a squirrel here too, Lulu? This year, I allowed the pomegranate to grow into a bush because I'm going to pick one of these or a couple of these to make into a tree. Because as you see, the tree is leaning one because it's too much fruit every year weighing it down and two the mound no no pomegranate really wants to be a tree it wants to be a, a bush so the mound is trying to grow like a bush on this side and it's just growing and shoving the tree over it's been doing it for years and this is the year that i said i'm going to cut down this tree so this is going to be cut down all the way down i'm just going to pick one of these to continue on with and look how nice the soil looks this used to look like this right now. This is what it used to look like. You see how hard that is? This is what that soil was. Just years of wood chips and composting and ground cover being a purple tree collard reconditioned that soil. And here's the cutting that I made of the purple tree collard long ago. Now, unfortunately, caterpillars got onto it, but it's okay. Sometimes I like that. Look what they did to this leaf. It's okay that they got onto it because now the plant knows that I got to protect myself. If it's just always taken care of, always sprayed, even if it's organically sprayed, it doesn't know the real world, you know, and this soil wasn't potting soil. It was soil from the ground. So it's not going to have as much transplant shock. Thank goodness I did this. So that's going to be the new one. I should have pruned it back over here to let it get bushier, but it's okay. But sooner or later, what's going to happen is it's just going to fall over root in the ground and just snake and come up a little bit snake and come up a little bit so purple tree collard highly suggest uh if you like eating collards or if you want a perennial green that you just plant once like i could have left that in there you saw some green i could have left them on in the ground but they're just getting woody it's getting a mess you know and sometimes just a new a new plant in there just to spice things up a bit because these are just stuck in their old ways they don't really don't produce as much as they used to because when they were new they uh were so abundant now it's just sparingly well now i know why because so much of the mound was dead so as you can see the color of the pomegranate non-staining variety uh, there's a little pink in there so maybe that will stain but nothing compared to its cousin red varieties no way so this is purely sweet there is no acid so not that desirable to eat fresh because you're just it feels like you're eating sugar cubes a little bit of flavor 
but amazing if you juice it. Add some lemon or lime. It's really good. All right, everybody. Happy gardening. <laughs>